What's up, everybody? Big, big facts. So it, it, it is being reported that Floyd Mayweather is being held by the Dubai government for debt owed. Now, the major news uh, associations haven't picked up on it yet. A lot of hip-hop news, magazines, and media has picked up on it. But uh, I searched for Dubai news. And I came across a news article from Zimbabwe, or from Africa. That's probably in the Muslim areas. And they said, this is iHair.com. And they say, Zimbabwe gold dealer Scott Sakawi Wanyan's friend Floyd Mayweather arrested in Dubai. Uh, the money team boss Floyd Mayweather arrested in Dubai over unpaid debt in an unexpected development Floyd Mayweather has been arrested in Dubai because of an unpaid debt it comes as a surprise that the team that the money team boss known for its lavish lifestyle and ties with Zimbabwean gold dealer and politician Scott Sepakwanya is facing money troubles as confirmed by Rick Glazier an IBHOF elector on Twitter. On Twitter, Rick Glazier confirms Floyd Mayweather's detention in Dubai over financial issues. Glazier revealed that Mayweather owes a significant sum of money to the authorities in Dubai, but did not provide specific details. The debt is unrelated to boxing, and Floyd Mayweather is attempting to strike a deal that will allow him to leave the country. Just got off the phone with my guy in Dubai. He told me that Floyd Mayweather is definitely being held by the government court system there as he owes a substantial amount of money in Dubai. They take indebtedness over there very seriously. Was told that was told the debt is unassociated with boxing. Floyd's desperately trying to work things out to no avail so far. So Trevante Tank Davis is correct that Floyd's been held there. Rick Glazier spoke. Mayweather traveled to, Dubai, traveled to Dubai a few weeks ago and shared images of his trip. Now Floyd, I just saw a video on Blue Blood. Floyd claims he was held over there 50 days. And they saying he just been over there for two weeks, two or three weeks. Mayweather traveled to Dubai a few weeks ago and shared images of his trip to social, on social media. However, he has since remained silent about the visit, prompt, prompting speculation among his followers. The revelation from Glazier follows earlier remarks by Tank Davis, a fellow boxer and associate of Mayweather, who hinted at Mayweather's detention in Dubai due to financial disputes. Okay. Davis responded to a fan's query on Mayweather's whereabouts, stating he got to pay them people to make that money back. If I'm lying, tell them to go live. Okay, bro. So we got news. This is from a some South African uh, website. Okay. Now let's check out now Lipstick Alley. Now now his kids have said nothing about this. They posting everything. This is his daughter. She's posting sitting next to cars, going on vacation. She just did a YouTube video of her going on vacation. She don't seem to be worried at all. So I can understand people are speculating is this true is this true or not? The kids are not. Leonard Ellaby hasn't said anything. You know about it. And you know he's Floyd main man. So let's check out what Lipstick Alley has to say about it. Lipstick Alley always had a juicy, juicy news on everything. Multiple sources including 50 Cent of boxing writers, writers alleged Floyd Mayweather Junior was arrested in Dubai due to outstanding debt and traveled to Israel and traveled to Israel.
This is allegedly all about cash or a loan Floyd owes and Emirati, not jury. So apparently Floyd really thought he could travel freely between Israel and the UAE, UAE but not pay outstanding Emirati debt while receiving lavish gifts. You know what? I knew something was up with Floyd when when uh, Saudis was paying all that money. Remember when when uh, the uh, Tyson Fury and Nagawi fight, and the Saudis was paying all those boxers money to be at the fight, and, he, and we saw all the legendary boxers, but Floyd Mayweather. And we know the Saudis paid all them boxes a big bag. So we wonder, what the hell? Where's Floyd? We know Floyd all about the money. You mean to tell me they got every legendary boxer to show up at the fight but Floyd? It didn't make no sense. Now I understand. Now I can under, I can see why. Because if anybody want to go get that Saudi money, it's Floyd. So I figure it got to be some. Wrong with that. And then Floyd started posting Israel stuff. So I'm like, oh, okay. So he in bed with the Israelis. He probably got uh, relationships with them Israeli people. And he don't want to uh, insult the Israelis. So that's why he not going over there to Saudi. That's not he why. But looks like he's trying to play two sides. Floyd Mayweather is currently in the UAE after returning from Israel where he congratulated IDF soldiers for their war crimes in Gaza. My guess is that he's in the UAE for the opening of his new gym. Look at that sand. Floyd was probably not locked up for going to Israel, but he allegedly owed a, owed a bunch of money to some Emiratis who usually let it slide up until he started cupcaking with the Israeli military. Now, they're probably going to make an example of him. You cannot serve two masters. That what you get, uh-huh. Shout out to Mikhail for the update. Mikhail Bunkin. For the update, which speaks to the info from my contacts, Floyd is in a real pickle this time. We already read that about Rick Glazier. This is a touchy subject because anyone discussing, discussing it has to tread lightly, which is what I'm doing and asking for in the thread. Not sure if there is a thread in the boxing forum, but I asked the mods to not merge this thread because this has become a celebrity story as more and more celebs weigh in. Strange rambling started last week with some weird back and forth. It was ill advised for Floyd to travel to the UAE after spending time in Israel with the Israeli military boosting morale. Oh, with the Israeli military boosting. Floyd came to Israel to visit wounded idea of soldiers in the hospital. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> we all in this room are fighters. Can't be a better story than standing up for your country and defending your country. There's not a better story than to tell your grandchildren that you stood up for this country. himself involved in something that's way over his head man I don't know who advising him but man these people ain't playing no games the UAE may seem progressive especially Dubai but if you travel there your money can't be funny credit is frowned upon in certain circles and proof of funds are a must also, like all Arab countries, that Israeli stamp on your passport may get you monitored during your time there. It's not quite clear what happened or if Floyd entered Dubai with an outstanding debt he forgot about. My contacts are relaying that 
as we saw with Saudi princes a couple of years ago, that the powers there will put you in, will put you up in luxurious lodgings until you can pay what you owe and secure your release, depending on your status as an Emirati, a friend of an interrupt or a celeb. Everyone's else, everyone else is basically locked up abroad. Mm. What have you heard? And are we on our way to an international a a incident? I'm sorry. What have you heard? And are we on our way to an international incident? And shout out to old school urban boxing rhymes with snitch.com for covering the story first when other more prominent blogs are seemingly ignoring the story. Wow, okay, I gotta check him out. Urban blog rhymes with snitch.com, okay. Tank is mad, okay. Tank was the first one to spill this, from what I know. What was he paid to do? Sitting? This some scurry-ish. If he's money, pay up so you can leave. Or is it a huge, huge debt? This is juicy. So there you have it, man. It could be that Saudis feel uh, he offended the Saudis by going to Israel. And they could hold a grudge and tell them, okay, you know, you got to pay us our money you owe. Why did you go to Israel? Why did you go to Israel? No. Now you pay. You pay up. <laughs> Floyd, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather to send a bulletproof vest to Israel on his private plane. There has to be a reason he was openly smooching with the Israelis when everyone said this is not his fight. It's got to be big money if he can't pay it up and is locked up in Dubai. See, th th this is what I'm saying. All money ain't good money, Floyd. All money ain't good money. If you made so much money. Did, see, did Michael Jordan... Michael Jordan could have made millions of dollars too after he retired by traveling overseas playing pickup basketball games. But he didn't. He didn't have to. He had enough money. He didn't have to do all that. Floyd is the type, oh, I'm going to go overseas and make some more money. You know what I'm saying? When you got good investments, you don't need to be thirsty like that. This is what Floyd get going out there being thirsty. Just selling his ass for cash, being a whore. This is what happens to you. When you be a whore, bad things happen. Eventually, bad things gonna happen to you when you out here in these streets being a hoe. Selling your ass for cash. Meaning they guarantee a personal loan. Okay. This has to be a reason when he was openly smooching with the Israelis when everyone said this is not his fight. It's got to be about big money if he can't pay it up and it's locked up in Dubai. Meaning they guaranteed a personal loan in exchange for open support of their military incursion into Gaza. But he forgot the fat meat was greasy and the Arab world wasn't down with it. And someone is picking that shit out of pepper by reminding him that they loan him money first. Oh my God. Come on, Floyd, man. You got to be smart. You got to make smart decisions. Not only smart investment. A dumb investment. Dumb decisions. He was dumber than I thought What when he did that. They were clearly upset when he did that. A lot of their Muslim representatives or taking or talking about it on social media I was wondering if he was going to try and slide by like nothing happened the Arabs love boxing and give a lot of money away and Floyd was trying to play both sides they are essentially trying to buy boxing have their own promotions and etc 
They didn't give you money out the kindness of their heart, you fool. You took money. Apparently, didn't do what they asked and sided Team Israel. He's probably getting a Dubai shower right now. Oh, man. They better call the U.S. government for this shit. Oh, Floyd, what have you done? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You trying to get all this money, your kids ain't even right. You ain't got your kids set up correctly. Your kids should be making their own money. Why are your kids taking pictures of your cars? You got your kid out here still taking pictures of your car. She can't drive it. She probably don't have like all oh, he got like Floyd got like hundreds of cars in each mansion. And all your kids can do is take a picture with, with your cars. They probably can't drive none of your cars. I never see them driving none of your car. I never seen them driving a car. They just take pictures by it. Like like a tourist or some shit. <laughs> he treats his kids like tourists, man. They don't have their own home. You know what I'm saying? None of them seem to be educated. <sighs> what a terrible dude, man. He's out here. Uh, playing both sides, probably broke, desperate, burnt all his money. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure accountants are stealing his money also. Probably this dude weird man, Floyd bro. Floyd on some weird bro, dumb, just dumb man, just just totally dumb. All over there in Israel. Kissing Israel, but then trying to come back to to the Saudi Arabia country. They ain't going for that. Me personally, I think he's just a money hungry idiot. Simple, and Israel knew that and forked over some money. He's for sale for anyone with enough money. You can get him to do anything. If you want to spend a million dollars at the mall regularly. It doesn't matter how much money you make, you will always be a slave. Uh, be a slave. Yeah, man. He ain't even made sure his kids right. Kids run around here looking dusty. No education. No guidance. No business about themselves. No mindset. No correct mindset. You know, that's it though. Wow. But see, Floyd has a personality disorder anyway. He a weirdo anyway. So weirdos get treated like weirdos, man. Peace.